If you dry fast, have you ever thought about how it affects your microbiome? Hi, I'm Farah, and this is part of my dry fasting series. So I am very aware of my microbiome. I have been for years. Um, I started doing an annual test with the company Viome to get a readout of the current state of my microbiome, all the different communities of bacteria and viruses that are there and um, their diversity and the health of the microbiome in general. So I've been doing this since 2017 and I noticed something really interesting a year ago. My diversity dropped um, and I hadn't changed anything. And I take really good care of my gut. I do all the fibers and eat tons of vegetables and um, have lots of phytonutrients and all the good things, um, my sauerkraut. And I hadn't changed my diet and I it just had me scratching my head. What caused my diversity to plummet in this year? And looking back, the only thing that I could pinpoint being different in that year was that I had started dry fasting. Now, this is completely anecdotal, N of one, uh, but it definitely piqued my curiosity. So I, so in that year, I was dry fasting monthly and three days, maybe sometimes two days per month. And then I would come out of the dry fast and, and go about my regular business. So after I got the results from Viome that my diversity had tanked and I started kind of putting those things together, this is the shift that I made. After a dry fast, in addition to taking care to remineralize, I am taking special care to repopulate my gut. So I actually don't normally take probiotics. Instead, I focus on prebiotics to feed the good bacteria that I want to thrive in my gut. So I actually, in the last year, I did order some probiotics uh, and I they're kind of expensive. So Viome offers like your own customized probiotic and I really only wanted to use it for this purpose. So I didn't do the like full monthly subscription, which is kind of pricey, but I would save these caps, they're, they're little packets of your probiotics, and I would prioritize taking them for a couple days after my dry fast, as well as focusing on the prebiotics. And the prebiotics are things like um, potato starch, um, psyllium fiber, um, sometimes I do XOS or Akasha gum. I vary it up. Uh, so this is just something that it doesn't hurt to do. I mean, I want to take care of that. And I love thinking about that community of bacteria. It, I'm, it just also helps me think of interconnectedness. Like even the self that I think of as this like solid me kind of thing isn't at all. I'm totally dependent on all these organisms and I like to think about them and I like to take care of them. So it could be a stressor for your gut and for the bacteria in your gut to do prolonged fasting. So I would just like to encourage you to think about this and I'd love to hear from you if anyone has any experience or information that they can share. It's not something I've heard people talking about. Um, so I just decided to put it out there and I'd love to hear your experience. So do consider taking special care to take care of your microbiome after you come out of your dry fast. All right, I hope you found this helpful and I look forward to hearing from you.